Kamusta kabayan? Hello and welcome to our presentation about MM Foodies, our restaurant recommender engine. We've come up with this idea when we heard about the recent exit of Zomato and its operations here in the Philippines. Now, we have one less reliable restaurant recommender engine Filipinos can use to explore good food. And one thing that's really particular about the Philippines is our rich colonization history, which really influenced our culture and cuisines. So losing the Zomato website is a big loss since we have so many options to choose from. As to date, our Yelp data source gave us an estimation that there are over 3,491 restaurants here in Metro Manila. So with that, we have so many options, but we always keep on asking the million-dollar question, saan tayo kakain? And like Spider-Man over here, we kept passing this arduous task to someone else. Sadly, despite the thousands of restaurants here in Metro Manila, we always end up going to the go-to places that you can find in the business central districts like BGC, Makati, or even QC, which has the highest number of restaurants. But all in all, we fail to explore more. The slide highlights that the majority of reviewed restaurants are concentrated in Manila Central Business Districts. However, this exciting revelation also suggests that there is a world of culinary exploration waiting in the suburban areas. Now, three insights we can get from this. First, untapped potential. The lower number of reviews in suburban areas indicates a potential for discovering hidden gems and unexplored culinary experiences. Second, less crowded. With their comparatively lower review counts, Suburban areas are likely to be less crowded and offer a more relaxed dining experience. And lastly, local charm and authenticity. Exploring suburban areas can provide a chance to engage with smaller eateries and experience local flavors that may be less influenced by mainstream trends. Now let's check Manila restaurant's performance with ratings relating to city, location, branches, and food price. Based on the graph, the Botas may seem performing better than Manila when relying solely on simple average. To be more accurate, Bayesian average method was utilized. Now, Novotas and Manila's average rating are adjusted to 4 and 3.98 respectively. With this, we can say that highly rated restaurants can be found throughout Metro Manila, regardless of whether they are located in central business district or suburban areas. By analyzing ratings in relation with number of branches and reviews, results in the correlation plot showed small coefficients. This means that the number of branches and reviews are independent of each other. In other words, having multiple branches does not guarantee the quality of a restaurant. Speaking of quality, we explored the available price indicators of all restaurants. And it turns out that the luxury establishment faces a strong competition with budget-friendly restaurants, with only a minor difference in their average ratings. All in all, what makes Metro Manila's restaurant sector desirable? First, Manila restaurants have outstanding rating regardless of location, number of branches, food price, or review counts. Second, encouraging discovery of new restaurants in Metro Manila will benefit consumers by providing them with diverse choices. And lastly, it is important to promote and support startup or lesser-known restaurants. By doing so, it not only enhances the variety of dining options available, but also has the potential to contribute positively to the economy. Now that we know this information, let's look at our three foodies here in Metro Manila. Adventures Aladdin, Budget Bell, and Classy Cinderella. Adventures Aladdin is a true food enthusiast who loves to discover unique dining experiences. He's on the lookout for hidden gems and authentic dishes. Budget Bell appreciates good food, but prioritizes financial responsibility, and loves to discover restaurants that, are, that provide generous service. She's on the lookout for budget-friendly eateries. Classy Cinderella has impeccable taste, loves to explore cuisines with exceptional quality. She's on the lookout for high-end and sophisticated restaurants. Given the personalities of these foodies, where should they go? Introducing MM Foodies. So this is how we built our recommender engine. First, we extracted our data set from Yelp and gathered 3,491 listings. Then we performed feature engineering on the categories and prices, text cleaning and reviews, and imputation methods such as KNN and iterative imputation of price packets to fill in missing values. We wanted to minimize the options in the categories, so we tried to simplify them into cuisines. To do this, we manually updated the cuisines based on our own research. We then computed the FID scores for the reviews and generated word clouds by cuisines and types of restaurants to verify that the words appearing over each word cloud and therefore the classifications we made make sense. Lastly, for the recommender engine, 
we use the following features shown in the slides as filters. To get the recommended restaurants, together with their ratings, details, and geographical location. After completing these steps, we condensed 176 categories into 19 cuisines for a smoother user experience and to address issues of confusion and inaccurate listings. Shown are some examples of the grouped cuisine clusters. Also from these categories, the reviews reveal the distinctive features of six restaurant types in Metro Manila. These types are casual dining, ethnic cuisine, specialty, fast food, beverages, and entertainment. So how does MM Foodies work? We first match all restaurants based on the price bucket filter. For example, if the user selected only inexpensive restaurants, then only inexpensive ones will be displayed. This filter is strictly enforced. Next, we only include the exact matches specifically based on the desired cuisine, type of restaurant, and the chosen city. We then filter these matches and only include restaurants with a, with a rating score of 4 to 5 and, the, and less than or equal to 5 review counts. After filtering, the restaurants are sorted from the lowest review count and highest rating to the highest review count and lowest rating. The purpose of our, of our project is also to promote restaurants with high ratings and low review counts. The results will consider the number of recommendations set by the user. If we have enough exact matches based on this number, then we are done. If exact matches are less than the number of recommendations requested, we get the partial matches using similarity scores to determine which restaurants to include. Similarity scores are computed using the cuisines, types of restaurants, cities, and distance. Applying the maximum absolute scalar to all these features for each restaurant, we created a vector based on the user input. Then we get the top restaurants with the highest similarity score that will complete the desired number of recommendations. Finally, we combine the exact and partial matches, which are sorted from the exact match group to the partial ones. So that concludes the output of the engine where the number of recommended restaurants, restaurant names, and geospatial mapping are shown aside from the user input details. With MM Foodies, Aladdin, Bell, and Cinderella can now search for the perfect restaurant based on their preferences. Here's a quick demo for these foodies. With Aladdin's adventurous profile, he takes a road trip to Paranaque to try ethnic Mediterranean cuisine. And since he wants to experience unique flavors without any budget limitations, you can try checking all our price filters. Next is our budget Belle, who wants to eat at a budget-friendly Filipino restaurant somewhere near Quezon City. She can go ahead and check inexpensive and moderate price filters to find the restaurants she's looking for. Finally, Cinderella, with her classic personality, wants to have a good Friday night with her rich friends and decides to eat at a Japanese restaurant in Makati City. To make sure the vibe is on point, she can filter her options from expensive to very expensive. So as you can see, MM Foodies works well for our users. However, we do recognize that it has areas for improvement such as having a menu for food options, a photo gallery for user reference, a list of available amenities, and information updates such as contact numbers, opening hours, and more. These are currently hard to obtain right now since the Yelp API does not provide more information. So given these limitations, why would foodies choose our application instead of other existing food websites? First is the ease of use and simplicity. Other food websites usually are not direct to the point and give us overwhelming information. With MM Foodies, our interface design is very easy to use and convenient because of our smart filters, from price range to locations to cuisines and more. Second is the unique customer experience. Our app caters to all people, regardless of our budget and needs, whenever and wherever in the metro. Plus, our interactive map will give users directions and details for the recommended restaurants. And third is the support we give to small restaurant businesses. Since we have this algorithm where we would prioritize the less reviewed but highly rated ones, we open a wealth of opportunities for businesses to expand by giving them a platform and visibility to have equal ground with big restaurant franchises. Now, there really is an untapped potential that we can further add to our app. Number one, more features like partnerships with restaurants to get better data and establishing a system where these restaurants can update their menus, lists of amenities, and more. Number two is extending to deep learning techniques, 
since overall we are using statistics and an intelligence platform as a base. Number three is expanding outside of Metro Manila to cater to every Filipino around the country. Overall, here at MM Foodies, we believe that with a button away, we can create a more inclusive city and dining experience for everyone. At kaya tarana at kumain tayo sa mainit.